Then I came back to South Africa in 1976 from Australia, and I decided we should do this play within the townships itself, Sizwebanzi. We arrive in Umtata, and we are going to perform there. We get to this hall, no, it was a Butterworth. The white people of this community, especially the mayor, had organized a private audience to see the play. So for the first time in the Saal, in Butterworth, all people could come in see this play. And there we were. And, and during the course of the play, I noticed that the exits were being blocked by people, two people, white, black too. And I realized, oh my God, I don't think I'm going home tonight. Those were the security police. Because the play is in English, Winston, John, and I could communicate in this course. I said, Winston, and I said, Meaning we're in deep gak tonight. <laughs> so as I stood at the end of the play to take a curtain call, the cop grabbed me like this and pulled me in costume. The people rallied around, white and black, trying to grab me. They all pulled out guns, and the other one was grabbing Winston on the other side. And as we were being rushed out of this, all black and white cops, security, uh, special branch. And I saw a young man I know from New Brighton. I said, 361165, 361165 PE. I don't know whether he had me because he hit me with the butt of the gun and I fell inside the back seat. And as I'm sitting there, there's two white guys sitting next to me and there's a black guy and there's Colonel somebody driving the car. And I'm trying to find Winston because Winston is extremely afraid of uniform. It's even, even post office, which it doesn't like rules. He gets uncomfortable. <laughs> and we arrive, as we're driving now to Mtata from Butterworth, the car stops. It's about 1 a.m., not 12 midnight. The car stops, and one guy gets out, and he comes back, and I say, I hear, shoot him. I thought, what a beautiful day. When I go over that moment, I knew it's such a beautiful thing to die for what I believe in. Mm -hmm. This could not have been a beautiful moment. I've just done a play. I did my applause. I did my standing ovation. I got it. Now they're going to shoot me. Incredible. I said, come out. So I followed him. The lights are on. We went to the front of the car. I was so ready. But I was at peace. An incredible peace. And I realized there was a horse lying right in the middle of the road, hit by a truck and the pelvis crushed and the blood was oozing out of this horse. And they wanted me to help to pull it out of the road. The shoot him was not shoot him, was shoot it. Bah! A horse died. And then I got back in the car. And we went back to Mtata, and uh, we were detained under R-400 of 1952 Terrorism Act and uh, furthering the aims of the banned organization, promoting hatred among races, furthering communists and overtaking the state. And I'm trying to sit in this detention cell, which is six by four, thinking, I'm sure there's something else I've done other than do it that way. I'm, not, I'm just not remembering that I'm actually a, a, a terrorist, but how come I have no memory of why I'm sitting here? After 15 days in solitary confinement, a little piece of paper slipped through the bottom of the, the, the cell door, and it stayed there for an hour and a half. I'm thinking, they're trapping me. This is the document they want to find in my position, possession. And slowly, I opened it, slowly, it was an article from the Daily Dispatch. It showed actors all over the world demonstrate for the release, immediate release of John Carney and Winston John. I slept for the first time in 15 days because I knew they can't kill me now. 